Hi, this is Paul from Acre Caddy, and we've been receiving a lot of emails and phone calls on various aspects of the installation of the Anchor Nest. So today we're going to show you how to do the basic installation of the Anchor Caddy Anchor Nest. Okay, so now let's go over the hardware and the tools you're going to need for the installation. First of all, you'll start off with 5 16 bolts. I recommend stainless steel. Now, to figure out the size of the bolts, first you need to know what your bow thickness is. So let's say your bow thickness is one inch. You're going to need one and three quarter inch bolts for the first three holes. And you'll need to add an inch and a quarter. So you'll have to have two and a quarter inch bolts for the aft two holes because you have the impact plate here. You need to make up for that half inch right there. Next, you're going to need uh, fender washers or a load spreader plate. I recommend the load spreader plate because it helps distribute the weight even more under your bow, strengthening your bow. Now the load spreader plate can also be used under your anchor caddy to elevate your anchor caddy above any molding you may have on your boat. Then next, uh, 5 16 lock nut. I recommend nylon insert lock nuts because it'll keep from loosening up through vibration of your boat. Then next you're going to need a way to mark your holes. You can use a punch or you can use a sharpie or a pencil or, or whatever you have handy. Next, when you go to drill your holes, I recommend using an eighth inch drill for a pilot hole and then your ultimate size will be three eighths inch. Then you're going to need a half inch ratchet and another half inch wrench. Now another option that we have here is a rubber insulator plate that would be used to mount on your bow that will help dampen some vibration and keep you from scratching the bow of your boat. And lastly, you're going to need a drill. So before you uh, set your anchor caddy on your bow, you're going to want to cut the uh, zip tie to the impact plate. Take that off. Move that out of the way. Then you're going to set your anchor nest on your bow. Pull it all the way back till it hits your bow tip and then just push it off slightly just so the rollers spin freely. Now to square it up, you use a carpenter square, put it on the back edge of your bow, and bring it up to the anchor nest. Make sure you have it nice and square. Okay. Now once you're squared up, mark the holes. I'm going to use the uh, punch here. Mark the five holes. You have your holes marked, remove your anchor caddy. And drill your eighth inch holes, pilot holes. Now once you have your 8th inch pilot holes drilled, switch over to your 3 8 drill. And drill the final holes. Alright, now that you've got your holes drilled, let's start putting this thing together. First, if you opted for the rubber insulator plate, put that on first and line it up with your holes. And then your load spreader plate on top of that. Again, line it up the best you can with the holes. And set your anchor caddy on there. And then start putting your bolts in through the top. Remember the aft two holes, you're going to want to put your impact plate on there first. And put your bolts through that. Ok, 
Okay, once you have those in place, you're going to want to put your other load spreader plate on the bottom. All right, now that you've got your bolts in there, your load spreader plate on the bottom, and your nuts, let's tighten it up. You successfully completed the installation of your Anchor Caddy Anchor Nest. For more information, go to anchorcaddy.com. Thanks for watching.